Hello and welcome to the third episode of Demystifying DAX with James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at the calculate function within DAX and I'm going to pack lots of other value in there and we'll look at a specific use case and how we can use this function to gain extra insights from our data. So if we begin by looking at the Microsoft documentation on calculate, we can see that we could build a strong argument to say it's not exactly clear. So I'm going to break this down in the following dashboard. I have some key points here regarding the calculate function within DAX. It seems simple at first, it's actually the most integral and complex function that we have access to. Now we assume the power of DAX is taking our existing data and being able to build in extra insights to make our end users lives easier. Well, Calculate goes a long way in doing this. We're able to adjust filters before we perform a DAX calculation and you'll see that the syntax is actually quite simple in that we want to reference a measure or calculation and then the table filters that we want to control. I've created mock data and we're going to assume that we have a delivery company and what we want to do is drill down on where refunds are being handed out, by who and potentially why. So we're going to use DAX to take our existing insights and really power those up. I think when you're learning DAX, it's fine to learn the principles and the fundamentals, that's key. But if we actually create a story for other people to extrapolate and apply within their own use cases, then that adds a lot of power. So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to append two columns to create a more unified date column. Within our calculate syntax, we see the first thing we want to reference is the expression. So we're going to create a measure using sum to total up our total refunds. And that will be the first thing we reference. So here's where we can use some DAX calculate magic. We can see from our table that Steve has been causing a questionable amount of refunds and some of these for a sizable cost and a much more sizable cost than the rest of our team. So we are going to use calculate and our recently created measure to drill down on 
Steve's refunds and then we can go from there and look to potentially analyse more of his performance. As per the syntax in the previous dashboard, when we broke this down, we can see that when we type out our DAX code, we're obeying the rules. So we have a filter that we created and that was our total refunds. And now we are using the filters for delivery driver. And specifically, we can type in the string Steve and we're going to use that to analyze his performance. And you can see how calculate is already letting us pin down certain elements within our data set. Now we could use an average measure or even go into the quick measures and take the average refund per driver and compare that to Steve's refunds. However, I think he already has contributed to a large portion of that, so it's not entirely helpful data. And we already know that his refunds are a lot higher than the rest. So what we could actually do is just conditionally format our refund column. And by row, we could show where there is a, a refund cost over £50. And that would probably be a much more useful way to make data-driven decisions in an instant. Lastly, we can create a simple divide measure to show Steve's refund percentage out of the total refunds so that we can assume that if we were to take this information to Steve, we would be armed with as much details as we needed. Separate roads, let me know it's so many fucking times I was left out in the cold. If you wanna keep it going, we can't be pressed by the problems with our team. You and me, I just wanna make you know this. Love is like a flower, there's no water we can't blow. I could give you flowers in the hopes that we could bloom. Everywhere I look, I see you, everything I do. And there we have it. I think we've been able to break down the calculate function in layman's terms, look at the value it provides in providing data-driven decisions in an instant for our end users, and also show 
how simple it can be to use, but the exceptional added value it can provide, especially if we nest it within other DAX functions.